Hey, how's it going everyone? So today we are checking out this new Laser Pro LP300 from the company called Kaizen. So these are always cool. I like collecting stuff like this just because it's not something I would use on a daily basis, but when you do need it, I want a nice one. <laughs> so you can see this is a typical simple box, nothing too fancy, but it is, you know, it shows you everything about this, all the details and stuff, which is very good. But, you know, it has like the scanning, the hold, the EMS lo logos. There's a uh, battery indicator, the laser on indicator, and of course the current temperature. All right. And also it shows you what the buttons are right here. The infrared lens, of course, up front with the laser hole. The bright LCD, which I love, because a lot of them they don't have a light up LCD, but I like this one because it does have a light up <laughs> LCD. And of course, the laser pointer button, uh, emissivity button, sensitivity button is what I think they might be saying. And then the C and F, uh, Fahrenheit and um, Celsius. Okay, so let's unbox this. So we just have a quick uh, user manual. I already pretty much said everything up front. And there is this diagram here if you want to pause it and look at it to see if it meets your needs about the, the distance uh, and size of 12 to 1 ratio. Okay. And then this here just talks about little surface temperature. You'll pause that if you need to look at the manual itself. And then here's just a little thank you. Here's a, oh, okay, so so there is a emissivity uh, table. Okay, so I guess what that's talking about is like surfaces, right? <coughs> so you can pause this, you know, and save it and read it if you need it. Pause it and save. Okay. Oh, cool. So this comes with batteries. I think that's always a plus. I mean, a lot of these batteries are kind of um, just a half-use batteries where they, they don't last half as long as real batteries. But free batteries is free batteries. I actually read some of them in the manual. It'll say just use these as temporary until you get real batteries in them. Uh, and I heard like some of these batteries, they will kind of leak quicker than, than other uh, batteries you could buy in like the States. The U, U, like Energizer and, and Duracell. Okay, so this one should be easy. I'm not gonna read the instructions. I'm just gonna pry this open and there's the battery slot. Okay. Make sure you get the polarity right. I like to put all my batteries in with the logos uh, straight up. That's just a quirk of mine. Some people don't care. I shouldn't care, but I do. So I try to keep them kind of straight up. <laughs> or why not, right? Okay. So let's see. Pull the trigger. How about that? Oh, there's the laser. 73, huh? Okay. Um, let's see. Let's try and back my watch. Let's see. Laser bouncing around. Sorry, my in frame here. Let's try and catch that. Cool. Let's see. <laughs> I'm just getting a whole bunch of stuff. I'm trying to find something that, that'll be a little bit warmer. Um, I don't think this will reach. Oh, okay. So this is the battery uh, charger to my light. But I just turned it on, so it probably won't even be warm at all. And it's not really. So let's see, what else had this nice and warm? Uh, okay, I don't have anything else to test with me. Let's see, this was in my pocket. I don't think it'll be warm right now, but let's see. Nope. Let's see, what else I have in my pocket? I'm hoping something in my pocket, would, well, the aluminum would stay cooler. Oh, I guess not. Got conducted a little heat. Yeah, I just don't really have a lot of stuff to randomly test the uh, temperature. 
So th right now it's 71, right? So this keep in my hand for a little bit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ah, it still feels cold. Okay. It did warm up a couple degrees, huh? Oh, okay, so let's try it again. So this one is at 70. Let's see if I hold it closer. Okay, so now, let's see. Yeah, see? Yeah, five degrees warmer, huh? So that's cool, right? I mean, of course, we knew this stuff was, and I can't really do ex exact measurements to make sure how accurate it is, but as you can see, it does work. And a horrible test, huh? <laughs> but it's fun. Anyways, I like cool gadgets like this. Um, this uh, second purchase, uh, you can watch my other video for a previous one I got. Um, I like them both. They both, this quality is just as good as the other one. I'm, I'm, I'm recalling this one, th this build is, feels a little bit nicer, I think. Because I, I don't remember the other one having kind of like separate plastic pieces like here and here. Which I feel is almost kind of like a reinforcement. So if you place it down on the table, it's, it's raised. So I, I feel like it kind of could help protect. I, I remember the last plastic felt didn't feel as thick and firm as this one. Even here, this is actually rubber, like a rubber texture. The other one didn't, I, I don't recall the other one having this war, uh, rubber texture here. I remember it had a decent texturing. See, so this is hard plastic. This is actually, yeah, rubberized. Uh, it's probably just a rubberized coating on this. But this one here, it's not called jipping, but you could tell this one's kind of raised and actually feels a lot more rubbery. I mean, this is plastic, even though this looks just like this almost. But this is plastic. But this one, you could tell it has a grip to it. So I would say this quality seems to be a little bit better than the, the previous one that I, I posted. Uh, you could I'll, I'll leave a link uh, to my other video up here, I guess. I'll, I'll try to. But this one feels like it's a better quality item. Again, I'll leave the description and the link in, in at the bottom if you ever need to look for one. Again, this is a Kaizen Laser Pro LP. 300 so you could suppose you use this for you know like testing temperature of your if you're baking cookies or if you're testing your AC I don't have my AC on right now but you could test like your AC vents to make sure the, the air is coming out cooler than the ambient temperature around um, Yeah, I mean there's so many uses for this. I just I find it cool. I, th I mean, I, you shouldn't really use it for your body to check the temperature of your body, really, you know. You have, there's specific th thermometers for that. But, you know, this is a good thing just get you in a ballpark, I would say. Of course, you know, I, there is a laser. I know you can turn it off, but just make sure, you know, you don't get into your eye and stuff like that. Um, but I think anyone could use this. Kids, you know, parents, hobby. Of course, you know, professional people. Um, I do like the orange color. This is a very nice, you know, orange and black combo. Keeps it visible, easy to see. Actually, this plastic does feel a little bit nicer than that one, I, I think. I might have to do a comparison if anyone cares for a comparison. But this one's actually pretty nice. I like it a lot. Anyways, so, you know, you can get this on Amazon. I'll leave the, the link below. Here's their contact. Uh, website information if you need it the manual and I'll put this up again just in case anyone wants to freeze and look at this later on about different materials here let's give you another closer look here so I think this actually comes off but I'm not gonna try to I don't want to break it I think that comes off I, I, I wouldn't know why you want to but um, the Plastic is pretty pretty good fitting. The quality is pretty good. I mean, the gaps are sealed pretty nice. I mean, there is a little bit, you know, of course. 
because you know plastic sometimes when you put them together it, they just don't butt up a hundred percent but i would say the ceiling of this is pretty nice i mean you know you can see a little uneven uneven gas but i don't think that should make a difference in your purchase i wouldn't say it's anything obscene but like all around here it's very nice leveled sealed there's no loose or uneven uh, sanding of the plastic or anything to catch your fingers. Everything's very smooth. There's not a single thing that's catching. I mean, maybe just a little bit right here. But I wouldn't say that's anything horrible. Because, I mean, overall, your fingers never touch it anyways. But, you know, yeah, you do feel a little bit right here. There's nothing that's going to damage your finger, but you do feel just a little bit. If they would sand it down a little bit or something, polish it off a little bit, but that's not a big deal. I don't think this any type of company like this is supposed to go in for high end finishes. So <laughs> I'm just being nick picky. So you know that's just me. But of course, oh okay, so this feels nice up here. Nice little rubber spray, you know, or it might be rubber. But I think there's a spray on rubber. I could be wrong. Could be just solid uh, silicone or something maybe. Everything's nicely uh, diagrammed and labeled so you could see the specs. Okay? I'll keep this video short, but if you have any questions, leave a comment below. And I like the beep, but I think you turn off. I didn't really see a th button to turn off, but you can read it in the manual if you really don't want the beep. All right? Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Comment below if you have anything. All right, I'll leave it there. Again, this is the Kaizen from, uh, it's a Laser Pro LP 300 infrared ther thermometer. Thank you, leaving it there.